I'm a member of the Disaster Action Team. We respond to fires, floods, storms, and so forth. And hopefully everything's gonna be okay. Any kind of natural disaster at homes or apartment complexes, we provide aid to the residents who are the clients. You're there to assess the situation, to find out what the client's needs are, and to see what you can do, and then to see what other members of the team can do. The duty officer is the first point of contact. This is Daniel with the Red Cross. We gather the information for the client, and we then send it to the responders, and the responders then go to help out the client in uh, the start of their recovery. We receive a call 24-7 and quickly go to the scene of the incident and help the client find them safe lodging for the night, as well as provide them with some resources and get them going towards their own recovery. You need to have compassion because we are the first people to talk to these clients from the Red Cross. And a lot of times we set the tone for how their whole experience is going to be. A debt responder needs to have empathy. They need to be able to emotionally connect to a client. I wanted to do something that had meaning and had purpose. Every time I go home after a fire, I know I've made the difference in someone's life. The rewarding part is just to see that you're actually helping somebody and they appreciate it. That means a lot to me. That's my reward. It gives me a sense of satisfaction knowing that I'm able to help people in their worst time of need and be able to help them get started on their road to recovery. There are tears, there are hugs, they are just very grateful and that gives me the satisfaction that I've been able to help them in their time of need. We see a lot of things. A lot of it's happy, a lot of it's sad, but sometimes things really touch our hearts. When we tell people that we're volunteers, there are people that come to us then and say, how, how, how can I do this? I would tell somebody that if they're a compassionate person, if they want to help others, if they want to, in a very quick time frame, within two to three hours, really make a difference in a person's life at their time of greatest need, uh, it's an opportunity to do just that.